Good morning, everybody. This is Joe out here again at the cabin out of St. Bernard Acres. It's a uh, beautiful, unbelievably nice Sunday morning. And uh, not a cloud in a dry sky. The humidity's down, temperature's down. I mean, it's just uh, what a perfect day. So, I, let's see. When I left you last time, we were I was going to go get some uh, sheathing and house wrap so that we could put the sheathing and house wrap on the cabin here and get ready to put the roof on. Well, the... I was trying to explain what I wanted to do with it. The siding I wanted to use was that uh, LP smart side stuff. And that's like $33 a sheet. So I was going to buy the OSB and the house wrap to put it together and leave that. You know, that would work for a while till I could save up the money and buy the siding. Uh, the sheathing, the half-inch OSB is twelve dollars and seventy five cents a sheet at Lowe's well we have a place in Wheeling called discount builder supply it's like overstock and returns and you know replaced windows you know just it's mix match whatever you can get when you go there but they had this stuff they call barn siding and it's this stuff um, half inch thick it's a uh, an engineered treated wood type thing um, made it's basically that smart siding that I was talking about using um, these are four by seven sheets and they were ten dollars a sheet this is the stuff that's $30 a sheet at Lowe's for 4x8. But for <laughs> $10 a sheet, you don't need, it's structurally designed, so you don't even need the uh, sheathing is not required. Um, or any extra bracing is not required. That's how good that stuff is. And uh, these are what they call factory rejects maybe I mean they got uh, blotches in them where the you know that's a some glue that got splashed on it little discolorations in it you know but it's ready to paint it's primed and ready to paint so I don't care about those little things and I have no idea how it'll hold up it's, it's guaranteed not to warp, mildew, rot, decay, insects, or anything like that for like 50 years. Um, so for 10 bucks a sheet, <laughs> it's like, okay, if it's not, you know, even the 4 by 8 sheet, I was going to have to cut some at the top, because I need more than 8 feet to cover my walls. I used 8 foot studs instead of pre-cut studs. Because we're going with the loft, I wanted the extra room. So, I, you know, a 4 by 8 sheet wouldn't do it anyway. You know, I'd have to cut an 8-inch piece. Well, I'll cut a, you know, 18-inch piece instead. Or 20-inch piece. Uh, out of this stuff. And for 10 bucks a sheet, I mean, it'll last a long time. It'll look way better than... Uh, the, the sheathing with house wrap around it, which is what I was going to wind up, you know, was planning on doing this weekend. And uh, got lucky and found that stuff. And I'm telling you what, when I rolled up Friday, it rained starting, you know, Thursday night. It rained until, you know, early Saturday morning. But I went by Friday and paid for the 22 sheets of this stuff. Told them I'd be by, you know... Uh, 
Saturday morning and pick it up, you know, after the rains quit. They opened at 9 o'clock. I, I was there at 9 o'clock to get my load. There must have been eight trucks there with trailers waiting. And uh, every piece that they had there was sold. And people were being turned away. I mean, you know, everybody was showing up to buy this stuff. And they were, I'm so glad I went by Friday and paid for it. Otherwise, I'd have never gotten any of it. Uh, if I'd waited till Saturday when I was going to pick it up, it would have been gone. So I think that's going to work out perfectly if we decide we don't like it or it doesn't hold up the way I think it's going to. It's sheathing. You know, even if I don't use it for siding, I've got the house sheathed now. And uh, it eliminates the need for the vapor wrap too. Because that's got like, I don't know what they call it, overlap, you know, joints and stuff. How you put it down. Uh... But yeah, that's what we're going to be putting up out there. And uh, I'll be back after we get some sheets up. Alright, as I'm unloading and getting set up, uh, something I wanted to mention about this stuff also, and about things in general. Remember, this may not be the perfect stuff. You know, maybe it's not what you would buy. Maybe it's not how you would do it. Maybe this cabin is not how you would do it. But remember something. It's just a cabin that may get used a few nights a month if we're lucky. That's all that's going to be. That's not our house. That's not going to be where we live. That's a cabin for us to come out here and spend the weekends out here. That's all this is going to be. So it does not have to look pretty. It doesn't have to meet all kinds of house codes. And, you know, it, it's never going to be lived in. It's always going to be just our little cabin out here. So, <laughs> I want to get that disclaimer in again. I, I'm starting to get all the comments again. About how this is being done wrong or that's being done wrong or you should have bought this. I am buying as cheap as I can and using as much recycled as I can. I don't want to, you know, spend $10,000 or $15,000 building a little cabin out here. You know, I've got, well, with buying all this siding, I'm still at maybe $1,000. Uh... No, I haven't even hit a thousand yet. Once I do the roof, once I get the sheathing on the roof and the paper on, you know, I'll probably be close to a thousand bucks spent and completely dried in with windows and door and everything. So, for less than a thousand bucks, I'm going to build this cabin. Basically. <laughs> the one thing you have to remember, though, when you factor in your budget for building something what gets you and I don't think everybody takes it into consideration see all them nails and screws and bolts and you know takes a lot of that stuff too uh, and these things I'm going to show these to you These are four inches long. They take the place of lag bolts. I'm going to use them on the deck. Now you can buy the individual screws. They're a dollar a screw. But they're guaranteed for life. Uh, a lag screw alternative. But they go up to five and a half inches. I saw them out there. But this was $20 for this box of screws. Uh... The, uh, they're stronger than half-inch lag screws. Carrying beams, ledger boards, deck rails, stair rails. Uh, and I'm going to use them, uh, to go through my bottom plate. All the way down through the bottom plate, the subfloor, and into the floor joists is what all that's going to do. 
But I thought I'd tell you that before I uh, went on with this thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Our first we may have to do, is up. We have to get, maybe do a few sister Yeah, I know. All right, because we got to take this. Which I have
Hey y'all, closing out for the day. You see what Gail did? She got her all mowed while we were working on the cabin. She likes to mow, she's good for that. I'll show you what we accomplished here today. We got the first part of all the siding up. We still gotta do the little bit going up there, but I can't do these sides until we get the roof on. I got the eaves to work with and everything. Uh, but I've got 14 sheets of that siding up and a couple of windows in. The door cut in. I could install the door now if I wanted to, but I'm tired. I'll do that one night this week because it's going to be so nice out here. I'll come out do this, put my rafter ties up, and I might get to get the roof done this weekend, or this week, uh, and then put the door in, and the other window, and we'll be all dried in, hey, what are we do but I'm just going to leave a minute for right now, oh, you're not, we're leaving it here. yeah, uh, well, the sun's in the way from this angle, but you can see what we got done. And you know what? For $10 a sheet, I like that siding. You know, I thought if I don't like it or if it doesn't work out, it'll make great uh, sheathing because it was cheaper than OSB and it's a half inch thick. But I kind of like the look. I'm anxious to see it painted. And yes, this will remind you of one of those sheds you see on the side of the road that you can rent to own. Uh, I'll do a video here. In a week or so and explain the difference and why this is so much better than one of those you know, I mean it's not so know, much better so but better? you know because we did it ourselves. right I mean it's better because it's a lot cheaper we did it all ourselves I'm still well under a thousand dollars into this uh, so by the time I do the roof the inside the bathroom, you know. I figure we're going to have a 12 by 16 cabin for around two grand. Um, and that's awesome to me. But we're going to unhook the trailer. It's 6.30, 7 o'clock. We've had a long day out here getting all that done. And I appreciate you all coming along with us. And providing the encouragement. And we're still shooting for getting it dried in by July 4th. Uh, but everything is plumb, everything is level, everything is square. Now we do the roof. And uh, I'm happy. I'm tickled to death at how this is looking. But this is Joe and Gail. What? Trailer keys on this or the other one? On the little, the little tiny one in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> uh. But this is Joe and Gail out at St. Bernard Acres. We're out of here.